desire someone. And if the desire turns out to be mutual, we hit another major milestone, our first kiss. In its first two decades, the human body accomplishes something close to miraculous. We're nearly four times our original height, 21 times heavier. We've digested 9,000 tons of food. Our hearts have beaten over a billion times. Our lungs have drawn over 200 million breaths. Now, with puberty behind us, we're ready, in mind and body, to become adults. Our early 20s, childhood and puberty are behind us. This is the start of a new phase in our lives, adulthood. We've flown the nest. What happens now is up to us. In our 20s, we look and feel better than at any other time in our lives. We're in our prime, both outside and in. Trillions of cells make up our organs and tissues. Over time, these wear out or get damaged, but new cells grow and divide to replace the old ones. Our body replaces entire organs so it's no wonder we feel good. Essentially, every 10 years, we get a brand new body. Some tissues regenerate even faster, like our hair and nails, which requires a quick trip to the salon every so often. Hairs are made from modified dead skin cells. Each hair grows from a follicle embedded in the skin. The modified cells grow here, then die as new cells push them upward. The column of dead cells is the hair. Each person grows an incredible seven miles of hair every year. Our hair grows whether we want it to or not, but other parts of our body are partially under our control. Choices we make now, like exercising, affect us for the rest of our lives. It has an effect throughout the body, helping cells and organs stay in peak condition. Our muscles are also building. This is a new imaging technique that combines the highest resolution CT scans with cutting edge computer power. It's called volumetic and it shows how our 650 skeletal muscles make up to a third of our adult body weight. It's been suggested that if all the muscles in the body work together they would generate enough power to lift more than 11 tons, the weight of more than four SUVs. Muscles are made from bundles of fibers. A good workout rips these fibers apart, but our cells repair the damage by adding extra material. The muscle grows back, bigger and stronger, through choices we made. Unfortunately, some choices are less beneficial.
Some expose us to damage that even our youthful cells can't repair. Parties are a part of life in our 20s. We all know smoke can damage the lungs. But smoke isn't the only hazard here. Our hearing is under threat too, from loud noise. The problem is deep inside the ear. The fragile sensory hairs in the cochlea, or stereocilia, turn sound into nerve impulses. Loud noise destroys these irreplaceable cells. The hairs that respond to high frequencies are most affected, maybe because high-pitched sounds shake their foundations more violently. The effect is too small to notice. But the frequency range of our hearing is already shrinking. Another source of damage is alcohol. As we absorb alcohol into our bloodstream, it affects both our organs and our state of mind. It raises our blood pressure and makes our heartbeat irregular. We relax, lose our inhibitions, and our coordination. These symptoms are a consequence of chemical reactions in the brain, especially in this region, the cerebellum. It controls coordination and balance. When we drink, alcohol affects the cerebellum's brain cells. Some synapses accept the signal more frequently. Others become totally blocked. The more we drink, the more extreme the effect. It may feel good now, but there'll be a price to pay later. After a party, Time passes, and we get to know our limits. Now, new challenges are on the horizon. To find love and have children of our own. Our late 20s. Childhood is a distant memory, but not the thrill of our first kiss. That was pure lust. Now it's time for something new. It's time to fall in love. Many of us meet our future partners at work. We may think the attraction is social or physical, but a lot of it is biological. We use our eyes to size up our date. But looks aren't everything. Attraction is also about smell. 
inside the nose. Olfactory nerves do more than detect smells. They also detect chemicals we can't smell. Pheromones, odorless hormonal messages we release in our sweat. Pheromones carry information about our genetic health and our ability to resist disease. Our brains use these signals to help choose a partner with the best possible genes for our children. Love is more than just an emotion. It's all about chemistry. We release adrenaline into the blood. Our heart pounds. We can't sleep. When that happens, another hormone comes into play. The brain floods with dopamine the feel-good hormone. It's as potent as cocaine, makes us euphoric, and it's addictive. It leaves us wanting more. We start thinking about commitment and eventually marriage. Love, both chemical and emotional, wins the day. It's a relationship we hope will last a lifetime, and the process of long-term bonding is chemical. Sex isn't just about procreation or recreation. It chemically strengthens the bond between us. Both partners' pituitary glands pump the blood full of a substance called oxytocin sometimes called the bonding hormone. It's the very same hormone that binds us to our mothers as newborns. Some anthropologists believe oxytocin could be evolution's way of creating a bond that's strong enough to endure the trials of parenthood. Time for parenthood is now. The man releases sperm. The goal, to find the egg. An egg ripens and bursts from the woman's ovary, the largest cell in the human body. It passes into the fallopian tube, ready for fertilization. Sperm are the smallest cells in the human body, and they have a tough journey ahead of them. First, they have to survive the hostile environment of the vagina. Its secretions are acidic to prevent bacterial infection, but they also kill sperm. Ejaculation releases 300 million sperm, but only thousands will make it as far as the cervix. The surviving sperm swim into the uterus and fallopian tube. Muscular contractions in the walls of the fallopian tube help guide the sperm toward the egg. Only a few hundred make it this far. And only one will succeed in fertilizing the egg. This truly is survival of the